Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is a speaker and author of several books on relationships. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. Pay attention to the habits of successful people. Now, you know what? Many people, there are many books out there, many podcasts like this telling you how to be successful in life. And, you know, every, 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 there's different, there's really different paths, different strategies. But one important thing a person can do is actually pay attention to the habits of successful people. Because that's well, the one thing successful people do. It's not because so much about the methods. But it's the habits. What do they do every day? Are they the type of people who get up early every day or do they sleep until late? Are they the type of people that cross every cross every T and dot every I? Are they the people who give back to charity? Are they the people, are they the type of person who looks to provide a service? Are they smart? Do they read a lot? Like let me let me get into that read a lot thing. And entertainment. One thing I've seen, uh, I've observed with successful people, and this has been said on many memes going around on social media or even them talking when they they might uh, do a video or something like that. They don't focus a lot on entertainment. They don't watch a lot of TV, but they do read. And when they spend money, they don't spend it at the club unless they happen to own the club. <laughs> But what they do is they will spend they will spend a lot of money going to uh, seminars. They will spend a lot of money on books. They will spend a lot of money on nonfiction. They when they get magazines, they don't they not going to necessarily get the uh, gossip magazine unless, of course, they own the gossip magazine. <laughs> Even then, they probably don't read it on their free time. So but what they'll do is they'll buy the business books. They'll buy stuff. You know, they, they will read nonfiction. Like I've, I've mentioned before, I've sold books before. I've sold uh, other people's books at a book stand. I've noticed the people on the success level, the people trying to be successful, they were looking at books on how to make themselves a better person, how to understand people better, how to self-improve. They will buy the self-help books, and you, it was for themselves. That was one of the habits. And now one of, another habit that they might have is they will, they will take responsibility for their lives. Now contrast that with many other people who might not have that level. They might use the word they a lot. Like they are keeping me down. They are keeping me from this. That's not a good habit. That's not a good habit. And let me go back to the entertainment thing again. A lot of people, there have been people who might look at uh, what I do primarily. They might say, oh, this is entertainment. I've actually had somebody say that. But then I have some other people who try to succeed. They're looking at, they're not looking at it as entertainment, but they're looking at it as information, knowledge. What can they gain from this? You know, even, even in um, this uh, YouTube space, you get a lot of people, I mean, this is entertainment. This is the TV now. But then you got other people, they they looking for the information. Well, how can I form this? How can I do that? And what's interesting enough, many of the people who are providing maybe a service like uh, or how to, how to fix your TV, how to barber, they're the ones looking back and they're just, you know, they they actually succeeding because the people who want to be successful, they're going to model those habits. Now, Sometimes it's not always easy to find. It might not be that successful person might not be in your immediate environment, you know, or wildly successful. But maybe the person who's going to be successful. Sometimes maybe if you work in retail, look at that extra hard worker that's moving up in the ranks quick. What are they doing? What are they dress? Are they wearing? Um, are they in the habit of keeping themselves clean? Are they in the habit of showing up to work in time? Now I've mentioned before I've worked in numerous places. I could always tell the people who would do well with something. Two things, two habits they had. Um, one, of course, were they were just hard workers. They were hard workers. Another one is they asked a lot of questions. That was a habit because they were always trying to improve how they worked. 
They wanted to know about it. It's like, hey, can you explain this to me? Can you explain that? That's an important habit. You know, they showed up to work on time. And consequently, they would be moved up in the ranks. Because one thing about successful people, you're not going, I mean, sometimes people see being a millionaire as successful. But that's hard work getting to that point. And then, you know, some people, they can still be successful and they're not making that much money, but they're doing something that they enjoy. You know, look at the habits of those people. What are they doing? I mean, one of the habits is just enjoying having a passion for what they're doing for a living. And you can see it all around. Look, pay attention. Pay attention on your job. Pay attention in your neighborhood. Pay attention to the person that seems like they're happy. And, you know, if you still don't have that, shoot, read the biographies. One thing, like, one of the habits that uh, I've, I've read, uh, you know, I'll pick up some of these books. I read their, uh, you know, you read about maybe some snippet about what someone's doing or what they've done. But the, one, of the, one of the habits they had was they never gave up. That's an important habit. Pay attention to all of it. And especially if you're interested in a certain field, pay attention to the people who went in that field. Like uh, a thought just came to me about football because it, it's getting close to that time. Getting close to that time. Training camp's going to be starting in a little bit, in a few more weeks. If you look at the successful football players, they work out like crazy. They go the extra mile. They don't party as much. You know, they, they, they spend extra time in the weight room. They spend extra time doing sprints. That's powerful in itself. That is powerful in itself. Pay attention to their habits, their work habits, uh, their fun habits, who they deal with, how they, have, uh, how they carry themselves. That's the key. Pay attention to their habits. So anyway, that's all I have for today. I want everybody to keep rising and transforming. Peace.